porque la vida es hoy. Nadie te puede prometer un día del mañana. Tu vida hoy es hoy. Tu jugarte es hoy. Tu espacio es hoy. ¿Cómo estás respondiendo a esto? Ustedes, queridos jóvenes, no son el futuro. Nos gusta decir, ustedes son el futuro. Son el presente. No son el futuro de Dios. Ustedes, jóvenes, son el ahora de Dios. hope that this uh, keeps pushing the pilgrims to another place. Look forward to the encounter in Panama. We we'll go back to Australia to our diocese to share the joy, the faith, the importance of our faith in our lives. I've really enjoyed on this pilgrimage being able to pray for people. So it's made me feel really close to the people back home. All those prayer intentions that were sent to me um, to pray for. I've been praying for them in the chapels, but it's also been able to get me to get to know all the rest of the pilgrims and what they're praying for and um, how we connect with each other. Um, World Youth Day is Panama's open its heart and its doors to the world. It's showing the world that God's love is real. Even from a little small country, it can show that the world that how to love, how to love visitors, how to love a stranger, how to love each other. The beautiful and some of the things we're particularly enjoying is the hospitality shown by the, uh, the country. Um, I've enjoyed experiencing the diversity of the Catholic faith and how it's um, different in different countries. Today we were privileged to be able to see the tilma that was revealed to Saint Juan Diego by our Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and it was just a truly moving experience. Although there are thousands and thousands of people here, it was really a great chance to connect personally and spiritually with the tilma. I felt really lucky um, to be able to bring the prayers of the people of St. Bernadette's at Castle Hill to this basilica and to Our Lady and, and pray for our people from the parish and for each other I mean, in front of the Tilma. So it was really, really special. And I think us being here today, this is exactly what we're doing. We're enabling Jesus to take control of our lives, to put us into deep waters and to experience new things. did a, a little mini pilgrimage where we walked along the side of the street with our group and several other groups waving our flags, getting honks from the cars around, just building the atmosphere. It was um, such a welcome and just a, like a lovely feeling to have um, to be welcomed like that. I can really feel God's presence and I think that's what I really wanted to get out of this experience. Yeah, we're just in the midst of all these people who are from different countries, um, all coming together to share the same thing, which is our faith. And it's amazing to see and amazing to be a part of for my first volume of faith. So this morning we were down at a car park in Panama for an Australian gathering. Many people from around Australia were there. The vibe was beautiful, the music was amazing, there was dancing, there was singing, everyone was praising it. It was, it was a really good experience and very enlightening for all of us. As you can see, the city of tents here at St. John Paul II Field uh, in anticipation of the Papal Mass, which will bring this pilgrimage to a climax.